Well, GiveForward.com! Man! <laughs> now, you're the founders. You got Desiree Vargas Wrigley and Ethan Austin. And man, before I met you today, I've talked to probably a dozen or so of the people who have used your crowdfunding site. And what I've done to each, I was so impressed with them. What I did to each of them, I send them a superhero cape because using your site, what they did is solve problems in their community for people who really needed help. And they would go on your site, you know, for free practically and get like 10,000, 50,000, a hundred thousand dollars to solve important problems. One lady helped the guy she just saw on the side of the road, lost his hand. She raised $70,000 on your website to get that person a new hand. I mean, that's incredible. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody. I mean, another woman I talked to, her friend's husband, you know, all of a sudden dies. He loses his job. She has cancer, you know, and they have two little kids. What is a little lady like that supposed to do? Well, a friend comes and uses your website and saves the day <laughs> as a superhero. And that's why I honor you guys because you really are showing how people can really take control of problems in their lives and solve problems for somebody else. What is better in life than to solve somebody else's important problems? And that's what your site does. And we should stop now because it's so <laughs> But how did you come out with this? I mean, you're the first ones probably doing stuff like this too. You've been at it for many years, right? Yeah, we just had our sixth birthday. So wow. we're older than most crowdfunding sites out yeah. there for sure. Um, the idea happened in a couple of ways, but um, the kind of the primary impetus for the idea was um, Hurricane Katrina. Honestly, oh. I was frustrated that it was there wasn't an easy way to give to families who were trying to rebuild yeah. and I thought you know why can't there be fundraisers on the on a site in a safe place for these families um, did you know was crowdfunding a term in your head at that time or no no nothing yeah no no not at all it peer to peer yeah. fundraising was the term and it was only used uh, by nonprofits like you know Susan G Komen and I see so in 2007 when I had the kind of aha moment the only people doing fundraising online were nonprofits and I thought well, everyone's banking online and everyone's shopping online. Right. Certainly, fundraising is going to come online soon. I can't believe it's not already here. Yeah. Um, but it took about a year for me to get up the courage to start it. And once I finally did, I met Ethan through a friend um, that I was talking about Get Forward at a Super Bowl party. Oh, and he was the techie behind the technology of this, right? <laughs> I love busting your ass on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're you're like one. a blogger. I like, went around in in suits. Like I actually ran around DC. You you run around DC in the question mark suit. I was yeah. running around in a banana suit. Oh really? Yeah. So, <laughs> I remember I, that. As far from a techie as possible. <laughs> but he's the one who infused so much heart into our business. I see. So. Uh, well, a banana with a heart. That's what we need. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. And, and so then you, I mean, I think you were waiting on tables when you started this thing or something, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely started the company with not enough money to finish the website. So Ethan came on board and brought <laughs> you know, a little bit of savings that he had. And he was a blogger and I was a waitress. Um, I, and the place, I waited a table at a place that had health insurance intentionally because uh, I, I see. benefits. And he, he bought private insurance but had like a $10,000 deductible or something mm -hmm. crazy. Um, <laughs> and so we started the company. We were working our butts off. Um, and then we, you know, we, at first we were fundraising for everything, like nonprofits, everything under the sun. And then we realized after having a couple of successful fundraisers in the medical category, that it was a much bigger problem yeah. than we realized yeah. initially. Um, and that that's where we were seeing the most words of encouragement, the biggest donations, uh -huh. um, but really where we were feeling like we were having the yeah. most impact. And, and that's really why we got into this business was to have impact. So in August of 09, like a year into the business, we pivoted and became most uh -huh. a fundraising platform for medical expenses and like other ways to help loved ones in need. Wow. Well, that's, I mean, to me, it's, you know, the, it, to me, you, you start living a, a more rewarding life if it's less selfish. <laughs> so, I mean, the, your, your whole 
everything on your site is all about that. I mean, it's for other people, you see other people doing it, and, and I'm still moved by everybody who I've talked on your site who used it, and really, and they all comment how easy, I mean, people will go on your site and say, I did this in 20 minutes, and I'm up and running, and raising money, and, and you know, raising $100,000. Wow, where else could you get that? You can't even find the right office in the government to call in 20 minutes to get an application for <laughs> money. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And when we, it reminds me of when we were first building the website, we were using something we called the mom test and, <laughs> and we, would, we would show early versions of it to our moms. And if they couldn't I figure see. it out, we'd go back to the drawing board. I see. <laughs> the early, early litmus test. Yeah. Well, you're right. I mean, and that's what it, it seems. I mean, I, I, every time I look at it, very simple. And uh, but when I hear people, I mean, people never been on a website before, never built a website, sort of like you, Ethan. You know, had not nothing. <laughs> Didn't know anything about the web, <laughs> so I guess that's now it's the Ethan test. You know, if Ethan could yeah, understand, no, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the test. Yeah. <laughs> but no, these these people are like women, middle aged women who never knew what a website or crowdfunding was, and able to you know in ten fifteen minutes get this project done, you know, and start raising money and solve a problem. Uh, and people, I mean, I remember like a a woman I talked to in, in, in Connecticut. I mean, she. Her best friend died, you know, in college from a rare disease and her parents were, you know, loaded with all kinds of expenses and she just went on there and started raising money for them and, and, and you know, it's funny what happened, even with their dying, she had student loan debt she couldn't get out of. I mean, that, that was, uh, that was a, another heartbreaker, you know, and, and they raised money on your site to get rid of all that for the family. Yeah. Oh, that's somebody who wants to get on your site and yeah. make a million dollars. <laughs> so popular over here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that's what. So now, and actually, you've raised over a hundred million dollars already for people, right? A hundred million dollars. I mean, we should God. have twenty next week. A hundred twenty. Wow. That's amazing. And you guys charge the smallest of anybody out there, right? I mean, you take a little fee to stay in business, right? Well, our fees are actually pretty comparable to yeah. um, competitors, so it's 5% for Give Forward and about 2.9% for the credit card processing. Uh -huh, right. But the big difference is that um, Give Forward, we allow the donors to donate the fees. They have the choice. Oh. And so donors choose to do this 95% of the time. So you don't even have to pay a fee to you if I don't want to. Yeah, donors, if they choose to pay the fee, then the, pa the patient and their families don't pay anything. Um, and this happens so often that the effective rate to the families is actually only half a percent. Where wow. if you go to any of our competitors, you know, the minimum you're paying on a site like UCaring, for example, is 2.9%. So, so we actually are the least expensive crowdfunding platform for families. So in other words, uh, let me understand. Again. So if I'm donating $100 to a, a program on your site and that 5%, I have an option of giving you an additional five percent is that what it is well, well so so here's the option it's instead okay. of giving let's say one hundred dollars and having eight of those dollars be deducted for to cover our our costs and the credit right. card processing uh -huh. the donor can choose to give pass on those savings to the to the individual and give 108 dollars oh i see the, donor, the donors and 95 percent of the donors choose to cover the fees because they want their entire donation i see oh that's terrific so I the individuals, re the recipients, they it passes through about ninety nine percent. Ah, I see. Intended to go to them, go directly to them. I see. So in other words, the donor could give an extra bonus to the recipient by paying your fee. Exactly. Right. right. And they do that very often. Wow. So the rate gets down to like what you said five a, a half a percent or something. Yeah. A half a percent. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's right. So then you are the cheapest one out there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Someone's paying the fees. It's just usually not the family that needs it. Right, exactly. Well, that's wonderful. Well, you guys, I, I hope you're here forever. And I hope you grow like a son of a bitch because we need more people to know that they have somewhere to go to become a super superhero in life because I'll, I'll interview them and I'll send them a cape and <laughs> thank them that we need more super, superheroes in life, people who 
help somebody else. And that's what your site is about. Not only you helping other people, but everybody who starts a site is usually using it to help somebody else. And that's a yeah, wonderful thing. The, the amazing thing is, I mean, so many people in so many situations, someone gets sick and, and they have a circle of friends, 25 yeah. or 30 people, and they're all asking the same question, well, what can they do to help? Yeah. And, and a lot of them are, are kind of waiting for yeah. someone else to do something. Absolutely. There's a bit of a bystander effect. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, one person does it. And, and you're, you're giving them an opportunity to give because it's so great to give. You yeah. know? And so you're giving an opportunity to somebody to show their love and give. And nothing yeah, better than that. Important if you have friends and family spread out all over the yes, country, all over exactly. the world, like, you know, both we, of us. We don't live in all of us in the little city in Iowa anymore. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you can't be there for doctors. Exactly, right. Okay, so go to giveforward.com and look at those stories, give, and, and really learn how to use it. I think we all have to learn how to use it. It's there. Anybody in your circle of friends that need help, this is a way to get it to them, right? Well, thank you for being there, and thank you for changing your careers and solving this problem. We need you. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for having us on the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>